Uh, we've got a lot of questions this week, a lot of comments. Hey, I'm seeing these tiny hummingbirds. They're, uh, the, the baby hummingbirds must be out. They're, 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 they're really tiny and they're feeding on my flowers. Well, we get this every year and there's a couple of things about that report that makes those red flags go up in, in, a, in a person's mind like me and, and we go, oh, it's time to do uh, talk about the hummingbird imposters. Uh, two things wrong. Yes, this is a great picture of a hummingbird nest over by uh, Maple Woods uh, from a couple of years back. Um, and, and this is the state that hummingbird nests are right now. Now we are getting a lot of reports now of female, increased female activity at feeders and that's usually a good sign that the baby hummingbirds are uh, along in age and probably going to be fledging very soon. So the, the females are able to stay away from the nest and, and, and feed a, a bit longer themselves. So. Um, yes, we're getting close to hummingbird fledging time, but it's still pretty early, especially as cool and as wet as this summer was. I'd be shocked if there were really baby hummingbirds out already. I'm expecting another two weeks, um, maybe maybe a little longer, a little, maybe a little less. But So um, the other part of that report, the timing is one that, that throws up a red flag. The other is that teeny tiny statement. Um, the teeny tiny statement uh, it, it makes us think of one of the hummingbird imposters that we see is here called uh, the hummingbird moths. Now they go by a, a, a few different names, but you can see this is a moth and it is a clear wing moth, which is one of the hummingbird moths um, that you can see why just the overall shape and size. And especially when we watch this video here of one, this is a taken by Matt Garrett of, of Johnson County Parks and Rec, took this video, fantastic video. And you can see that the, by the actions and how this, this moth feeds, um, and the, the clear wings, the, the, ta the tail fanning, why people would con uh, confuse this with a hummingbird. Um, and uh, thus their name, the hummingbird moths. Now, there's, they have several different names. They're actually a member of a group called the Sphinx moths. But the hummingbird moths or hawk moths, they're uh, different, different species. Um, there's two prominent ones around here that we see. Um, this one is not, the, not clear winged like the other one is, uh, but it's striped, but it acts the same and it, it hovers around. I've seen them on uh, flocks. If you plant flocks, they love the, your, your flocks plants. And that, I've seen them on many different flowers, but they, uh, and when you see them, you can't help but go, oh man, look, a hummingbird. Nope, you look their size. They're only about an inch and a half. And another good indication is um, hummingbirds don't have antenna. So that's a, a, a real good indication. But on a quick glance, I can see why people get confused by that. If you get a chance to look at it closer and longer, you realize, wait a minute, that's not a hummingbird at all. So yeah, they're, they're beautiful. They're, they're, they're fun to watch. And of course, they're pollinators. They're, they're, they're helping those plants um, in, their, in their pollination. Now, if you, if you find a butterfly, you find a moth, you want to know what kind of caterpillar there was. Because we don't want you, we want you to help those moths along. We want you to, to encourage them in your garden, important pollinators. But the, they, in their young form, they are caterpillars. And they are big green caterpillars. They are tomato hornworms and tobacco hornworms. You can see that, that big uh, that horn that they get their name from. And uh, Mary tells me that uh, whenever people find the tomato hornworms on the tomato plants, you know, they, their first instinct is to kill them. We don't want you to do that. We want you to encourage them. But you don't want to lose all your tomato plants to the, these guys. She recommends planting a, an additional tomato plant. So if you're going to plant four tomato plants, plant a fifth one. And as you find these caterpillars on your other plants, move them onto that one sacrificial lamb, kind of like I do with hummingbird feeders with bees. I have one that the bees get bad in my yard. I have one hummingbird feeder that I, I dedicate to draw the bees away and keep them happy. Where the same thing on the, those the tomato plants and load up that one tomato plant with all these hummingbirds. You'll have those hummingbird moths in your garden, which is a great, great uh, addition to your garden and fun to fun to watch. So thanks for joining in. Come by until then. Let's talk birds.